Hi, uh, I am Natasha Idrisuria. I am part of 2021 Youth Action Lab. 2021 was a challenging year for many of us due to the pandemic and the lockdown that came with it. Uh, sexual harassment is a very much taboo topic in Sri Lanka. Therefore, people are uncomfortable to talk about it in public. Due to the patriarchal and cultural influences, women think that uh, talking about their sexual harassment experiences will tarnish their reputation and character, whereas men think that it will challenge their manhood. Uh, LGBTIQ people are completely removed from the conversation around sexual harassment. Due to these factors, uh, conversation about sexual harassment is very much divided into victimhood and perpetration. Uh, there has been other efforts to tackle sexual harassment, but they remain bubble project uh, due to not being able to reach into a wider audience. This is the situation that uh, was when I started this effort. Uh, first, we thought of having more physical engagement, but due to the corona situation, we couldn't do that. Even with our research, we only had a small window to go out and do our focus group discussion. Since this is a very heavy topic, we wanted to do focus group discussions in person. Uh, also, we had to figure out ways to get people to engage in this topic in more light-hearted ways. Uh, maintaining an unbiased, empathetic approach without triggering uh, victim survivors or perpetrators was also a hard task. For me personally, preparing myself psychologically for this mentally taxing task and ma maintaining it throughout was a challenge and also uh, getting people on board who sees this effort the same way as I do in a more humane way was also a challenge for me. Decoding sexual harassment effort has two major parts. With the research, we wanted to understand psychosocial, political, economic, cultural layers of sexual harassment perpetration in Sri Lankan context. We realized that we need also need to understand sexual harassment experience through victimhood perpetration as well as bystanders. We use focus group discussions, uh, key informant in, uh, interviews, uh, informal conversations, surveys, as well as field observations. Uh, with the campaign, we did uh, raise awareness as well as we tried to break the stigma to talk about sexual harassment. Um, we used uh, light-hearted memes and also we had artworks where we used a character of octopus depicting sexual harassment. Uh, through our social media group, we were able to have many conversations on catcalling, borderline sexual harassment, victim blaming, cultural and media influence on sexual harassment, cultural norms that are supporting sexual harassment. Uh, we were ha able to have many engagements through our memes and art artwork campaign. We had more than 200 shares on several of our memes. We were able to grow into nearly 1,000 members in less than three months without any boosting. With our research, we were able to have a plethora of information through our uh, focus group discussions, key, informa key information interviews, informal in uh, conversations, and our uh, survey. Uh, this has been my journey with uh, decoding sexual harassment, and I am planning to take this effort forward.